Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I'm, of course, a Calculus, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions in Legends of Terra. We are going to be doing the two star weekly adventure today against Darius in the Shadow Portal, and we are going to be using Master Yi for this one. So, this adventure is really interesting because, in terms of the special rules here, we have a Merciless Marksman. Game start, all players summon a Cracker Corsair that includes us and the AI, obviously, and a Suppression Field. All cards cost one more. So this could mean that, you know, all the cards in our deck, you know, pre-existingly right now, like the Master Yi costs, I believe, uh, 3 mana or something, uh, they're going to go up to a 4, obviously. So it's going to make things a little bit more um, challenging to bring on, if you will. So I, I guess, in other words, it's just basically just, you know, increasing the cost of everything up by 1. And as a result, you know, you play everything, you know, around later, I would say. That way you have the enough mana to do that. But I think there might be some interesting permutations as well. So I thought it was worth, you know, taking a look at it and basically just doing it a runoff of it. Alright, so we're gonna go over the Master Yi build here real quick. So I am running a level 9 and 2 star Master Yi. This is the champion that I'm gonna bring next into the Aurelian Sol. I'm doing some grinding currently, so hopefully I'm able to get him to a level 20 soon. But yeah, basically I thought I'd record a grinding run as well and I figured, you know what, let's take a look at this weekly adventure simultaneously. That could be worth covering. But yeah, in terms of the Master Yi, we have the uh, Emai here. Plus 1 starting mana, round start, flow, give your strongest ally elusive this round. And of course, mind and body. When you play a non fleeting spell, create a 1 cost fleeting twin disciplines in hand. So in terms of the champion level here, we have a level 9 Master Yi, which means we have access to a first relic slot, uh, sorry, first rare relic slot I should say, and of course we are missing out on the level 20 game start droid champion, and we are definitely missing out on the level 28 voice tank next itself, and the level 30 rare relic slot 3. So yeah, in terms of the relics here, we're just gonna go with a really simple build. We're gonna run a Troll King's Crown on the Yi. I have been playing a Troll King's Crusher, which gave an overwhelm uniquely to the Master Yi, so I figured since we have the Rare Relic slot, we upgrade that and we give every single ally over one with the Troll King's Crown. It has been functioning well on the Yi with the Crusher. I figured the Crown could be worth for everyone else. Alright, so let's quickly head back out and we are going to take a look at this adventure and see how we do. Alright, looks like a Piltover and Zon map. We have Darius down here and Sejuani as our mini boss. Okay, so we're gonna head to the first power node and see if we could pick up something useful. Right, we get a wild inspiration, a new student, and a counterfeit production. This is, looks like a no brainer pick here because the Master Yi will be generating a twin disciplines every round. Uh, well, not generating every round, but you know, whenever we play a non fleeting spell. So this could actually help us out, you know, with the triggering that um, twin disciplines there. I think we're gonna go for it. It seems like a decent pick. Actually, hold on. Let me just double confirm what flow does first. I cannot remember what the flow does. Uh, let's see. The card activates its flow if on it uh, activates its flow effect on round start. You play two plus spells or skills last round. All right, all right. So it's just a general effect. So I think all things considered, the wild inspiration is useful. We're gonna go for it, and we're gonna head into the Kempung pickpocket. Alrighty, so we have a Wuju style, a Disciple of Doran, and a Soul Squirrel here. I think we're gonna keep this. Should be okay. We don't really have to, you know, re-roll too much with the Master Yi deck, I find. Seems really um, interesting because there's a lot of... Uh Oh shit, I forgot we have the all cards cost one more. Uh, well, it's still okay though because... No, no, Wuju style isn't gonna work here because, again, the cost one more is... Kind of... Well, not really wreck us here, but it's gonna make things a little bit more problematic. Alright, so I guess we might not want to attack you, or do we want to see if we could trade our Corsairs? I think we could be, you know, able to trade the Corsairs here if it chooses to block. That way, at the very least, we um, prevent it from dealing one Nexus damage every time. So I think that could be worth. Uh, we're definitely not playing Wuju style here. We don't have enough for the Meditate, unfortunately. We might want to reinvest in cost reduction, that way we could get everything back down to normal. But uh, we'll see how we do. Two scraps cutlers here. Disciple Doran on. Unfortunately we can't play this because this is focused. We're definitely not playing Wuju style, so we're just gonna block one of it. All right, we have a four cost Z. That's the one I was looking for. My helmet could use some work. I could never hope to mend the master's work. 
I'm not really concerned. We'll let it kill it. It's cool. It's cool. Now, I think we can potentially get Wuju style down to a one cost, right? Um, no, hold on. Let me just do the math here first. So, we play preparation. It's going to reduce the cost of Wuju style. We play that. It's going to be one mana. So, total one mana uh, from the preparation plus one mana from Wuju style. That's going to be a total of two. And then we won't. St we still won't have enough to play meditate. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna attack with the Yi. So this adventure could be problematic for the Yi because the Yi relies on, um, you know, essentially. Hold on. How the hell did we get cost reduction here? Did I miss something? Um, just give me a second. Oh right, round star reduces the cost of a spell in your hand by one. All right, all right. So, I guess what we're going to do here is we're not going to play the Swole Squirrel yet. Let's actually drop the Disciple because we might need to block with it here. Um, I'm also concerned there might be a unit. I tell you what, just to be safe, let's go to Preparation first. We're going to reduce the cost of this one cost Wuju style. Alright, and we're going to put on the Disciple of Doran now. That way, you know, we have burst spells that we can play that's going to help us. Alright, we're gonna put this guy here. Let's see, Twin Disciplines. I think we'll give it to Doran. Because we should be able to get a Meditate with plus 0 plus 2 on the Yi. And we should be able to block the 4 too, and I think that's what we'll do. So we'll give it to the Disciple here. We'll play Wuju style. Just to get this extra Twin Disciplines here. It's not really that major, I would say. Uh, yeah, there we go. And obviously we don't have enough to meditate. Alright, so we're just gonna block like so. We'll take 3 damage. Alrighty, so I think what we're going to do here is we might want to play Rush, actually. That could be great. Um, Disciple of Doron got over got the elusive because of the star powers, right. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to attack straight up, I feel. And I don't really think there's anything to play here. Do we want to play Wuju style, though? Hold on, just give me a second. Reduce the cost of, your, of a spell in your hand by one. Okay, I think we can play the Wuju style. Um, let's actually just commit this first. We'll see if it blocks. Or you know what, just to be safe, we'll just probably immediately play it. Let's go Wuju style first. And then we'll go Twin Disciplines. Get the plus 2, plus 0, of course, on the Yi. And this should be enough to bring up to 12 damage and level them up. Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and I think just drop the Meditate. We'll, we'll leave the Meditate for later. If there's any, um, you know, spells coming on, we can't, you know, play this to negate that, essentially. So we're just gonna commit this first. A new legacy. I probably should have went with Rush there. That way we could have gotten any extra damage. But there was obviously no way of knowing. And I just wanted to keep that just in case. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually just going to play a deep meditation here. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's pass the turn. Take from the rich, give to me. Alright, we definitely want to activate the flow here. Um, well, not the flow, but the... What is it? The mind and body. So we definitely want to play a non-fleeting spell and create a one-cost twin disciplines. I think we're going to go with the deep meditation here. Alright, we have the twin disciplines. Actually, we should have played, you know, the uh, preparation first. Then <laughs> we could have gotten a cost reduction on the uh, flow, but it's cool. Let's actually drop a... Swole Squirrel here. This could actually help us with the blocks, right? We might, yeah, want to use this as a sacrificial unit. We're definitely not playing Wind Singer. Alright, we'll... We'll throw this guy here. We'll throw this guy here. 
put the Yi here and we'll go Twin Disciplines on the Yi. We're definitely not able to, you know, mitigate enough damage here, so we're just gonna have to accept this. But we should have the win anyway, because we should get the Elusive next turn. Yeah, we take a lot of damage there, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, that's just a salty um, play here because obviously can not win, just wants to deal that one extra damage. It's cool, we'll let it resolve. Okay, so we get Kai Guardian, a Augmented Experimenter, and a Fury Horn Crasher. You grant the top three allies in your deck plus one plus one upon attack. I actually like this. We're gonna go for that. I don't really think we need the Kai Guard in here, so we might want to go for this. Uh, you know, a more aggressive option, I would say. All right, let's head to the support champion, and let's see. We get Sejuani and Nivia and Echo. Um, I feel like I want to go for Echo actually because this could actually help us. The predict is nice. Echo creates time tricks as well, so we can take advantage of the uh, cost reduction on the creator cards that we picked up. Yeah, I think I might go for him. I'm not sure how synergistic that is going to be with the Master Yi, but uh, you know, I think we'll find out. So let's head, I guess, into the shop note here. That means we're going to take on the Ren Shadow Blade. Okay, so we have River Shaper, Perfectionist, Wuju Style of Meditation. We are going to reroll here because, again, we can't really make use of these three costs. We need at least a two cost or one cost. We'll keep Wuju Style and we'll definitely get rid of Deep Meditation. All things considered, I think getting a Mana Gem would have been much better than picking up the uh, cost reduction on the creator cards. Well, it's fine. We've already committed. We're just going to see it through. Let's go ahead and just attack with a Corsair. On the I've got us covered. Again, we're just trying to wipe out any uh, potential units that could be a problem. Get Doran here, which we can bring on. Ah, uh, yeah, gotta be shitting me. Yeah, gotta be shitting me right here. <laughs> Uh, we lose the... well, we take 4 damage there, which is so unfortunate. I think we're just gonna drop the Crasher here. We'll go Doran as well. Alright, I think we'll go a Preparation here. We'll get a Cost Reduction on... I think we'll not play that yet. I have an idea. Let's actually... Hmm. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, no, I think it should work because we might get cost reduction on this, right? We played of preparation. Let me just redo the math again. Um, cost reduction on the Wuju style. That's gonna go down to a 1. So we can't play this and we should have, I think, 1 mana left over. Now, with the Meditate, it's going to get one cost increase because of the Adventure Power, but the Cost Reduction is, cost reduction is going to bring it back to down to two. So, that's still not enough. That is so unfortunate. I guess we're just going to have to attack like so. Or do we want to hold on to one of our units? I tell you, we'll hold on to the Disciple of Doran. We'll see if we could um, basically just attack, get the effect, and if the Mecha Yodel here dies, it dies, it's fine. Alright, get Echo here. Uh, we're definitely blocking this fellow. We can actually get it to survive, and I think that's what we'll do. We'll play Wuju style. Oh shit, I keep forgetting we create a Twin Disciples, <laughs> Twin Disciplines for every spell we play. So we actually could have had that, you know, first guy survive. 
that way we can actually play a twin disciplines all right all right so yeah this is something to take note i'm not really good at you know playing and organizing my spells i'm not really that uh you know familiar with that i would say so yeah something to remember we always get a twin disciplines every time we play a non-created spell so I, I probably should remember that if i'm gonna be honest but anyway let's go ahead and just um i think let's go with twin disciplines here protect our doran And I think we'll drop the echo here. New tech, new tricks, new day, Get new a shimmer win as well. I was hoping for this unit, if I'm gonna be honest. Unfortunately, we never saw it. Um, now we do, but I think we're gonna go with the disciplined Dorn here and block this four tree. Echo should get an elusive, which is gonna help us. And we get the Yi as well. We're gonna bring him on. To restore this legacy is my greatest honor. Let's actually play a... No, we'll not play the Stein Disciple. Uh, we definitely don't have enough mana this time because preparation is going to cost one. Wudu style is going to cost one after cost reduction. And this particular um, Meditate is not going to be able to be played. And of course, the Twin Disciplines as well won't be enough because that's one mana. So essentially, that's going to be three in total regardless. We definitely don't have enough mana. So I think we're just going to drop the Disciple here uh, and get extra damage. I don't do meditation. You are a fledgling child flailing his arms. Actually, Master Yi won't be able to attack here, so... Head probably should have played the Wujo style in all honesty. Well, it's cool. At the very least, we get, you know, 9 elusive damage. That is definitely really, really good. We're definitely not attacking with the Yi here. Can't predict here because we don't have enough mana, but it's alright. Okay, we'll drop the Crasher here, but we'll use this as blocking unit, potentially. Uh, we'll go to Shimon Win as well. And we'll pass the turn. Or actually, do we want to play Prep first? Now, you know what? Let's pass the turn first. Alright, we'll block this guy and block this guy. See, we could use Twin Disciplines to our advantage here. Uh, we might want the Shimon Win to survive, because it's elusive. I think we can happily let the Crasher, you know, get sacrificed here. So we're going to go with the Twin Dis Discipline of Fortitude and buff the Shimon win. Alright, pass the turn. You should get a plus two plus zero here. Yep, and I think we should have the win regardless. Yeah, let's just commit this first. Alright, so we have a Sputtering Song Spinner and a Sheaf Mechanist Zevi, as well as a Sump Dredger. I think we might just go with a Sump Dredger. The cheaper cards we can get, the better, because we might need to play them uh, heading into the you know later stages of the adventure. So, yeah, cheaper cards are probably better. We're going to go with a Sump Dredger here. Alright, so we're going to be heading into the shop node, so let's hope we could get a decent power. Okay, sharing is caring is great. We are picking this up. Quick attack is really nice. I think we can potentially get elusive from everyone as well. So we're going to grab that. We definitely don't need anything from the cards. We are just going to head into the Stargazer. Alright, we start with a Yi here. We get Disciple of Doron and Vestayan Disciple. That is exactly what we need. We we'll get rid of the Deep Meditation here. This is a really good curve. I'd be really disappointed if we somehow go down here because we are quite fairly low on health, if I'm going to be honest. Ready? Right, we'll have to sacrifice our Corsair here. Looks like the AI pulled the same tactic on us. <laughs> and we're going to drop the Disciple. I don't do meditation. We have no Yi yet, unfortunately. Actually, we should have kept this for potentially... Nah, nah, it's fine. We can, of course, recall it and get the elusive back, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and attack here. We'll play Wujo style, just see if we could get as much damage as possible. 
right? No, I tell you what, let's not do that yet. Let's actually drop the door in here. Alright, now we'll attack. Yon. Just the one I was looking for. My helmet could do some work. Right, we'll sacrifice this guy. Because we want to keep the Yi alive. Alright, we can definitely play Shim and Win here and get a lot of damage at the same time. That is gonna help us out a ton. We're gonna do that actually. We haven't played Twin Disciplines here. Can we push damage to the next Nexus? I think that's possible if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, let's see. We play Prep here. And we reduce the cost of Twin Disciplines. We'll keep the Wuju style for some other turn. We should be able... To get a lot of damage. Not a lot, but you know, still significantly higher. Yeah, that's good. 9 damage is great. Alright, might want to block this here, so we're gonna get a sump dredger. We're gonna discard the seven cost wind singer. I think we can definitely cut this card. Seven cost, you know, elusive is probably not something we're gonna be looking to play. So I think we're just going to get the Sump Dredger and cut this fellow. Just to potentially block this Traveler here. Alright, so we're going to block like so. We can actually get a... Yeah, we can actually play the Twin Disciplines this turn and not repeat the same mistake we made in the previous one. We're going to go Wuju style, just randomly buff this guy. Shoot it enough for Twin Disciplines here. We're going to play this and get Discipline of Fortitude and protect our Sump Treasure from dying. That is great. That is perfect. Let's attack like so. We don't really need to play anything here. We should get the win. Okay, seems good. And looks like we have a Vestian Disciple with Fury. That is going to help us. We're going to purchase this. Well, not purchase, but grab it. So yeah, basically we're just grabbing anything that has, um, you know, a... Uh, well, it is it, it's, it's an upgrade on a cheap card, essentially. That would definitely help us. Uh, we have Adaptatron and a Shop Note here. So both of these are purchase items. We're probably not going to buy anything because I definitely want to buy health heading into Sidroni. So uh, either way, we're still going to head to the shop because I think it's better than the Adaptatron. Let's see what we get here first. Get Enfeebling Strike with Damage and Enemy Reduce its Power by the Damage dealt. I don't really think this is necessary and I really want to save up some gold for the Health Note here. So we're just going to leave, I guess. We don't really need any cards either. Yeah, we're definitely going to leave. And we're going to purchase some healing at the Healer here. We are not able to cut a card, unfortunately, but we'll do that later if we are able to. But yeah, we're definitely going to grab 150, uh, uh, 13 Health with the 150 gold. Get ourselves back up to full and take on Sejuani. Trust nothing but Alright, so we get time tricks, some dredger, some dredger. We're gonna reroll everything here, except for the rush. I think we can make use of this with the uh, crack shot here. That could be decent. Yeah, I think we'll reroll everything except for that. I have an idea what I want to do. Can potentially bait that out, which is gonna help us. Okay, I tell you what, let's not play Vestine Disciple yet. Actually, we might want to play it. Um, no, let's not play. Let's see if we could bait this out. We're going to attack like so. And we'll go rush here. There we go. 
Now we kill that. We have our Corsair still on. And potentially we avoid any extra one damage. That's the first baby step, I would say, into securing victory. <laughs> the winter's claw strikes. Unfortunately, we may have to sacrifice one Vestein Disciple here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna sacrifice this guy. Um, we're definitely not sacrificing this fellow. It's not gonna help us. So the good thing here is that Sejuani is gonna come on later as well, which is, you know, in some ways good. But uh, we, we are gonna have to try to win earlier. So we're gonna drop the Master E here. Let us see. Alright, we're gonna attack like so. Ooh, I'm actually concerned there might be a Fury of the North here. I tell her, just to be safe and not gonna attack the Yi. If there's a Fury of the North, it could potentially play on the Protoporo and it will kill our Master Yi in return. I don't want that to happen, so we're just gonna attack regularly. We might actually start playing our Swole Skuro here. That could actually help us. And yeah, I knew there was a free of the north. Um, Shadow, okay. It wants to kill this guy, I think. But it, it's fine. We'll drop the Swole Squirrel here. We're probably gonna use... Hmm. I tell you, we'll take five damage. I think I have an idea. Really risky, but um, it could be a big payoff. Six damage, actually, because of impact, but it's fine. Alright, so I dropped this Disciple. And we'll drop another one. We should have a lot of damage here. And let's see, this is 19 damage, beautiful. Got us covered. Master Yi's elusive army. <laughs> the wind howls. <laughs> All right, I think Sejuani is going to come on here. That is a little bit unfortunate, but I think we might be able to work with something here. Let's actually drop this... Um, now let's actually play Shim and Win because we might want to use this to get some potential uh, twin disciplines here. That could actually help us. So we're gonna play this first. We really only need to survive in order to deal damage here. So I think we are sh we, we should be able to play. Um, oh, we get a Wuju style that could actually help us. Uh, let's see. We should be able to play this as well too. The Meditate is going to be one mana, I believe. Uh, no, actually, it's going to be two mana. Uh, we should get a one cost twin disciplines and another one. And we have this, you know, pre-existing one cost twin discipline. So that's one plus one, that's two, plus two, four, then plus the other two. That's going to be six in total. So I tell you, we're not going to play anything here. We're going to react to it with the spells that we have. All right, that is perfect. We're gonna get the Wuju style here. We're gonna buff this guy that we prevent the Frostbite from killing it. We should have enough to play and potentially negate some damage or even, um, you know, block some of the enemies here. So we're just gonna pass this. Now let's see what it does. Bristle, attack. All right, I think we'll block with a Shimon win. We can't afford to kill it now because we don't really need it anymore. You challenge the wind? Left Master block the 2 tree. Now, is that all? now let's go meditate first. We want to see we get, you know, um, get as much survivability as possible. Um, meditate. That way we get this guy to survive. Twin disciplines. We'll play two twin disciplines. That way we kill the Sejuani. We take only five damage in return. That is great. All right. 
Alrighty, we have the win. Okay, so it looks like we get Targon's Ray, Spell Shield, and Tough here. I think we might want to go with the Tough. That could be useful. Or do you want to go with Spell Shield? Now, Spell Shield is probably not that important because we are taking on Darius. I don't think there's going to be a lot of uh, things to worry about there. Um, we might want to go with Targon's Brace, actually. Support, give my support to ally, plus one, plus one. Now, you're not going to go with Tough. Tough might be better overall. Okay, so let's head to the Power Node here. We get a, another wild inspiration that is going to help us out a lot. So that's going to bring our, you know, um, activate the actual cost reduction, which is, you know, bring everything down by one, uh, you know, from, because, you know, right now with the cost inc increment from the adventure power, it goes up to, say, maybe a two cost mana, base two cost mana goes up to a three. With the first wild inspiration we picked up, it goes back down to two. With this second wild inspiration pick up, it's going to, you know, actually get the cost reduction. So that's going to help us out a lot. We're going to go for it. Okay, so we have an item chest and a spell chest here. This is a Boom Baboon and this is a Usari. I think we're gonna head to the Boom Baboon here. Alright, we get Yi, Meditation, Echo. We're gonna get rid of these two. We'll keep the Yi and the Vestine Disciple. I'd love a Mana Gem if I'm gonna be honest with you. Unfortunately, we don't get that. Okay, playing Disciple here could be stupid because this might actually just drag the Disciple. And I don't want it to happen. That elusive could be important. So I think we're just going to have to take 6 damage here, which is a little bit unfortunate. We might want to block with the, our course here for sure. Um, hold on, what the hell happened? Uh, when the 4 attacks, they... Oh, they summon a the Flame Chompers, challenging the player strong is in it. Alright. Alright, so I guess we're going to resolve we take 6 damage regardless. I thought we were able to block one and, you know, maybe take less. It's cool. Again, I didn't want to bring on Disciple there because it's probably just going to, you know, drag the Disciple. So, I think that was the right call. We're going to go with the Fury on Crasher here because that's the only thing we can play. Alright, let's see if we could, you know, deal some damage here. Choose the block, which is fine. We might lose this unit next turn, but it's okay. Now the Yi should be safe because essentially he's not gonna, um, what, 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 how, how would I say? It? He's not gonna be too susceptible to anything. There's no, you know, um, two cost units here. Uh, sorry, three cost, three cost, uh, three attack units here. So I think we're just gonna drop the Yi. To restore this legacy is my greatest honor. All right, so we're gonna want to take out this one one. Is that all? Show me your skill. Yeah, we'll take out a 1-1. One, one. Let's see, do we have enough to... Play this, and this, and this. Uh, I think so. Do we have enough? No, we actually don't, don't we? No, we actually do. I, we, we actually do. I have an idea. Let's drop the Free Horn Crasher first. Don't kill us here, you goddamn bastard. Yeah, goddamn bastard. <laughs> Ah, well, well, at the very least, we get the impact on the Yi here, so we're gonna go with Disciple. And at the very least, we draw that out, because the elusive damage is probably more important here. We'll play Time Trick. We'll grab another... We'll grab a Wuju style, but we should get a zero-cost Twin Disciplines here. Yep, we're gonna play that. We're gonna get plus two, plus zero on Yi. And we are definitely attacking.
We're gonna play Wuju Stall here, circumvent some damage. We take some heavy damage here, but uh, let's see if we are able to survive. I think we should. We're gonna go Twin Disciplines. Um, yeah, we're gonna go Twin Disciplines. We're gonna get zero three. Buff the E. Make sure he survives. Yep, and he levels up as well. Nice. A new legacy. All right, so we definitely need some units to block, and we definitely need a little bit of aggression here. We're gonna go with the Swole Scroll first. Anything else? Can definitely get the Shimon Wind Elusive next turn. That is gonna help us out a ton. But not before playing some dredger. We're probably gonna discard something. Let us get rid of the perfectionist. I don't think we need that. Intel looks good. Affirmative. Win win. Beautiful. That is gonna help us because I believe. We have more than enough damage. That is great. Unfortunately, we don't have life steal to get back some health, but uh, we'll just commit this first. We'll probably play twin disciplines depending on what the AI does. Okay, we get Giant's Belt on Masty, Xenotide Researchers, and Callus. I think we're gonna go with the Giant's Belt upgrade here. We are heavily low on health. That isn't fun, but um, we'll have to see. We'll head to the item chest first. Might have to spend a revive if I'm gonna be honest with you. We will probably go for a... Let's see. I think we'll go for Wuju Styles. We're not, you know, really consistent with the spells here, and this could be important. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. We're gonna head into the shop note here. We definitely want a power. Officer backup. Sting officer could be really helpful, so we're gonna purchase this. That's a you know one cost unit on the start. That's definitely gonna help us. Um, I don't really think we need any cards here. Now, my, I'm really concerned because uh, you know we don't really have enough health. So I think we're still gonna take on the mirror mage, and you know I guess we should be able to you know use the revive if we have to. But I will try not to do so, of course. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of Windsinger, Echo, and Perfectionist. We'll keep the Disciple again. And we'll get the Yi for sure. I'm really concerned because 7 to 30, that isn't a really, f well, good odds, I would say. <laughs> we'll drop a Disciple here. Um... We'll have to block with one of these guys. No, actually, we'll keep him because he could be useful. We'll block with the 2 1 here. Hello there. We'll go with another one. We'll try to push as much damage as possible. I expected something like that. Well, it's cool. At the very least, we still get to deal, um, you know, five damage, and we still get one Shimon win back. I don't know how we're gonna pull a rabbit out of hat for this one, but um, we're gonna try, obviously. We're gonna go some dredger here. We're gonna discard the wind singer. We don't need that. It's really expensive. We definitely don't need a cart like that. Probably gonna lose here, I feel, but um, uh, we're gonna block this guy and this guy, and let's see. We take yeah five damage and fun. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some sort of darkness or something that's gonna kill us. It's cool. We'll probably just use the revive.
Alright, get the E here. We're just gonna bring, bring him on. The lesson begins. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, well, it's cool. We're gonna surrender here and we are gonna try again. It's expected anyway, because, you know, 70 to 34, there was probably no way of uh, winning that. My sight was clouded. Alright, let's try again. Let us try again. Alright, we got two Yi's here, a Disciple Doron. We're probably gonna get rid of one Yi. We'll keep the Rush and I think we'll keep the Disciple here. Probably should have gotten a, you know, Shimon win. That would have been better. Um, unfortunately not, we get a Time Trick here. Can't make this work, however. I don't think it's that bad, but uh, it's probably not as ideal as, you know, getting a one cost unit from the get go. Let's pass the turn. Kill this guy and this guy. I don't think there's a point in playing the rush here. If we're unlucky and we don't get the studded letter, it's gonna be a waste of our spell. But if we're lucky, we do get the studded letter. That can actually help us. Uh, you know what? Let's not do it. I'm not really sure there. I'm not really feeling that confident with that. So we're just gonna pass the turn, let it die, and we'll bring on a Yi. Well, maybe not on the next turn, but Doran first on the next turn. And finally, we get the Shimon win. If this was a turn earlier, that would have been great. But unfortunately, that's just the game. The game hates us. <laughs> um, we're going to go with the Master Yi, obviously. Sorry, the Disciple Doran. Right, I think we should be able to get a zero cost... Um, uh, what's that thing called again? The Twin Disciplines. So I think that would work. So we're going to go with the Rush here first. And we'll go Twin Disciplines. Let's trigger the flow. Uh, what the hell did it give? It gave a... Oh, okay. It gave a Targon Spray. So, alright. It's alright. We're gonna commit it. And we get blocked by a 1-1, which is cool. Probably go with a couple of Vestine Disciples here to block some of these elusives, so we're gonna go with the first one. We'll go a second one. Alright, block this guy, this guy, and this guy. Fortunately, Yi doesn't get elusive here, but it's fine. It is okay. Just the one I was looking for. My helmet could do some work. I could never hope to mend the master's work. Okay, we'll play preparation here just to get cost reduction on a time trick, but mainly because I want a buff in order to, you know, take advantage of the Yi's um uh, to, to deal some damage here with the Yi and essentially the rest of these units as well. We're gonna attack like so first. Um, Disciple of Doran is actually giving plus one, plus one, so that might be more useful on the Yi, all things considered. Like so would be better. And we're gonna go prep. Just reduce the cost of the time trick. I'm worried about tricks here, so we're just gonna attack first and see what we play the Twin Disciplines on. It's probably gonna block with something, right? Yeah, I think this Tenor of Terror. Now, you know what? Let's just play, immediately play it. Let's not be too smart. Let's just, you know, uh, play a little bit more simpler, simplistically. We're gonna go Discipline of Force. We're gonna buff the Yi. Yeah, I probably should buff the other units here. I forgot about the Mirror Mage. Well, let's go. Cool. We'll let it resolve. Mama is the beast, Mama. 
Yeah, we definitely need some elusives here. So we're gonna go shim and win. We're gonna keep one just in case we need to play it as a, you know, on the attacking turn. Uh, actually, no, we don't need to because essentially we've already given the elusive to Yi, so we can safely play it, I think. Um, yeah, we'll go for it. Let's even play predict here, I think. Yeah, why not? Just scrap the echo. That way we have a lot of, you know, options to use these spells to potentially block some of these here. We're gonna pass the turn. Of course it doesn't choose to attack. What a waste of my spells. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's fine. At the very least, we should still be able to deal some damage. Um, let's see, let's see. Maybe we could play a deep meditation. We can take advantage of that. Uh, yeah, we certainly can. We can even play a regular time trick here. I think we'll do a time trick. Get a rush. That way we can play as many spells as we want to. That's going to help us. Um, deep Meditation is 4. This is 1. I think this might be better because this might be a little bit more damage. What we're going to do is we're going to attack like so. Now I want to see what it blocks here. And then we're going to respond with, you know, rush and potentially twin disciplines. Okay, no big deal. So it targets this guy and this guy, which is fine. We're gonna get a rush here. We'll quick attack this fellow. That way we can kill that. Now we have twin disciplines here. We're gonna buff this guy in the health department. And we're gonna buff this guy as well in the health department. That way we should be able to have everyone survive and deal 16 damage. Alright, we need to free up our hand a little bit. We will drop a Discipline Disciple Doran here. Again, we're gonna summon the Shimon Win. I think it's blocking units here. This battle is going on a little extra longer than it should. And it's really surprising for Yi battle. Unfortunately, it doesn't choose to attack here. Uh, we're gonna end the round. But yeah, it's still going on fairly longer than it should for a Yi battle. Usually, the Master Yi is really fast. But um, obviously, with the in in inclusion of the um, suppression feel, it makes things a little bit more, well, let's say interesting. Um, let's play some Shimon Winds here, just guarantee some elusive damage. Alright, we'll just get some... Well, no, we'll probably don't play that yet, let's commit this. Yeah, it's fine. We get the win. Alright, so we get a Bonded Bucklers on Disciple and River Shaper with minus one cost. I think we'll just get a extra Disciple. That could help us. And we're definitely going to heal up here in the next Power Node. Uh, sorry, the next Healing Node. But we want to grab something. Let's spend our rerolls because this is the last one and we don't really need to hang on to it anymore. This isn't a good set either, so we're going to reroll. Grid, Nap 1, Line, Wait. I think we can reroll again. Uh, Duelist, refill your Spell Mana. That could help us out a lot. We definitely want to pick this up, I think. Okay, so let's head to the healer here. Grab the hundred and uh, the ten health and hundred fifty gold. Uh, sorry, the twenty health, I should say. And we're gonna head into the Darius. Every army needs. All right, so we're gonna wanna try and end this early. Let's get rid of the Sump Dredger. We'll keep the two disciples and the Yi here. Probably gonna sacrifice this Corsair that we have. It depends. We'll see. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll actually sacrifice the 2-1, not the 1-1. One, one. Because we can use this to get some extra Nexus damage. I don't think we're going to bring on Disciple yet. No, actually we can. We have the mana, why not? What could you ever teach me? Let's actually go Disciple Doran here. Fortunately, we can't really play this to get cost reduction, but we can randomly play this, it seems. It's definitely not going to work, but I just won that, um, what is that, the, um, what's the thing called again? The Twin Discipline. So we're just going to drop it here. There we go. Alright, we're going to attack like so. I'm going to see if it blocks here. If it blocks this guy, we'll probably play Twin Disciplines and, um... No, we don't need to play Twin Disciplines. We should be able to kill it in the process. I tell you what, we'll immediately play this on the Corsair, or actually we'll play it... Yeah, we'll play it on the Corsair, that way we could deal direct Nexus damage. I've got us covered. Forgot it, you know, transfers the stats with the Bonded Bucklers. <laughs> so it's a good thing we didn't play that there. We'll not play Shimon Win yet. We'll end the round, bring on the Yi, and then we'll play Shimon Win. It's fine. Let's go, Shimon Win. Victory at any cost. Alrighty, we're gonna block like so. We're gonna pop this guy here, and we're gonna go twin disciplines and make sure it survives. So we only take two damage because of the last breath effect, which is perfectly okay in my book. Okay, I think we might want to play some spells here. We can potentially secure victory if we have enough damage. We are really close. That's like seven damage um, discrepancy deficit. So we should be a difference, I would say. And we should be able to get that. We're going to go with a regular Wuju style here. We're just going to randomly buff. Let's buff the Yi. Actually summon a unit as well. That is perfect. We're going to attack with the Sky too. And we should be really close to getting the win. So we're going to go another Twin Disciplines, buff the E again. And that should be enough. Captain's orders. Bullet to the... Beautiful. Alright guys, and that is the adventure complete. So, you know, obviously this adventure is a little bit, you know, amped up in the difficulty segment because of the, well, the stony suppressor thing, or I can't remember the power name, but essentially it raised every single card's cost by one. So obviously you're waiting a little bit longer to play the cards that you need. But as I can see, not really too difficult. Well, to be honest with you, if I'm, you know, being perfectly frank, we got a little bit of help from the uh, sharing is caring as well as the wild inspirations here. So I can't really say that it was really, really easy, but obviously it helped out a lot and essentially it didn't really prove too difficult even though we lost to the vicious enemy there um, I think this is just a more well let's call it a more excluded event a singular event because essentially uh, if you go with a better champion or potentially a you know more powerful champion bear in mind my master is at level 10 and 2 stars only so if you go in with a better champion in terms of the star powers and the level I think it should still be fine. You should not have really too much problem with this. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing. I really do appreciate that support. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of Legends, Runeterra, or Path of Champions content just like this one. And with that being said, this is Kavlo signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me as well. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.